Girl, I'm a celebrity now. This Filipino American influencer earns $6.1 million a year. And because of his 41.6 million followers on social media, he is also a proud owner of luxurious cars, including a Jeep, Mercedes Benz G Wagon, and a Tesla. Hello, I'm gonna give my mom her gift. I got her a wallet from Louis Vuitton and an iPad Air. <laughs> He even bought his mom a house, and he loves to spoil her with Louis Vuitton. But behind his smile, infectious laugh, and wacky facial expressions, it's hiding a dark secret. Because when he was a child, he experienced something so traumatizing that it still haunts him today. This is the secret life story of Bretman Rock. This is the story of the digital superstar Bretman Rock from the Philippines. He's a vlogger, model, and entrepreneur. He's on the Forbes list of top creators in the world. He soared to fame when he was just 14 years old because of his makeup skills. And he became even more famous because of his potty mouth statements. Super confident style and funny facial expressions like this. And unlike other influencers, Redman wants to keep it real. That's why people on the internet instantly fell in love with him. This YouTuber deserves everything. You're honestly the funniest, uplifting, sassiest YouTuber ever. Your facial expressions have me dead. He successfully made millions of people laugh all around the world. But unknown to many, he was loud and funny because he wanted to forget his traumatic childhood in the Philippines. They were so broke that the very first pair of pants he ever owned was a pair of old skinny jeans from his mom. He went to school without money, and he even failed some classes because he didn't have enough money for projects. Eventually, his mom needed to work abroad to support them. Not long after, his siblings migrated, and he was left alone with his dad. And this was when his childhood was shattered. He witnessed this traumatizing moment. I can't say that you saw him a maid in front of you. Bretman told his mom that his dad was cheating on her, and that's why she left him. And for that, Bretman blamed himself. Even though Bretman's dad passed away years ago, he never really forgave him. And what happened at his dad's funeral was something he would never forget. Some of his fans went to his dad's funeral just to take photos of him. Condolences. And then they'd ask me for a picture. What a horrible experience! But even if he was a bad husband, Redman considered him a good dad because his father supported him, embraced his sexuality, and told him not to be afraid of the world. When Redman migrated to Hawaii, he was bullied because of his appearance. But instead of breaking down, he expressed himself even more, and he did this. I was bored at home, and I was like, hmm. Why not make a YouTube video? He started posting makeup tutorial videos, dancing videos, and random teenage rants. He didn't know that this video of him slapping his sister would make him a viral superstar. Are you serious? <laughs> They showed sibling rivalry realness on the internet, and people loved it. His followers went from 200,000 to a total of 41.6 million, making him a millionaire. Now, he enjoys his celebrity status and been on the cover of magazines, invited to red carpet events, and now he's an LGBTQIA plus icon. But after all the success, money, and fame, he realized this. I recognize that what really matters is the people that I love the most. So he always makes sure that his family, especially his mom, is happy because his single mom worked hard for them. So now he's working hard for her. Unlike other influencers, Bretman doesn't flex his wealth too much. But if there's one thing he's proud of, this is it. My biggest flex is the fact that I'm Bretman Rock.